Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. Today I'm reviewing the 2021 Nordico Alvarino. It's Alvarino. It's just, they actually have it written out in Portuguese and that's nice. It's from Minho, Portugal and it is 12.5% alcohol by volume and screw top plus one. All right, from a color standpoint, it is a pale lemon, no artifacts, no cloudiness. On the nose, so apple, red apple, pear, there's a little bit of lime, the alcohol is actually reasonably present on the nose. Overall intensity is medium. Just like a bit of an orange as well. A hint of peach. But there's something else. I'm trying to... So it's going to sound weird. It, it reminds me of fresh kelp. Like if you pick a kelp out of the sea or the ocean and you smell it. It's not just the brininess of it, but it's the actual like chlorophyll smell you get out of it. If, if you've never done it, get some dried seaweed or something and like let it soak up some water, pull out and smell it, and it's like a much weaker version of that. Anyway, how does it taste? High acid, medium body, low alcohol on the palate, even though it's stronger on the nose. Um, reasonable amount of saltiness here, a reasonable amount of saltiness. The finish is almost medium. It's like halfway in between short and medium. I'm gonna have to lean towards short on the finish. Intensity of the fruit is medium, and it's a dry wine. So, how does it rate? Let's get to the book. Balance standpoint, full point, no complaints. Length, short finish, 0.25. Intensity, medium on the nose and palate, so half a point. And in terms of complexity, I'm gonna give you 0.75, and the reason why is you have a really wide range of primary fruit, you have a little bit of florality, and you also have that saline. So, I mean, you, you're spanning multiple fruit clusters, you're also adding a little bit of flowers, adding in the salt. The only thing that's not making it is secondary characteristics from winemaking, and I don't necessarily see that very often in Alvarino from Portugal. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give you 0.75. So when you add everything up, you're halfway in between good and very good. Personally, I'm gonna lean towards very good on this wine. This is a wine that is nice enough to have on its own. It's nice enough to enjoy when you're pairing it with activities like a, a picnic, a hike, grilling, things like that as it's starting to get warmer we're going into the spring and into the summer this is a really nice wine it's just nice and crisp and fresh it's a good palate cleanser with some of the fattier foods it can hold up the seafood especially some of the saltier seafoods and um i mean it's just overall i mean it's overall it's a very good wine in my opinion Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's review, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Nordico Alvarino? Alvarino. I'd be interested to know if you have. <laughs> Leave a comment about Alvarino. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you all again soon with another review from Wine on the Dime. Man, if you thought I butchered French and Spanish, you should hear me try Portuguese. It's not, not a good thing.